today we're going to be looking uh, to work out our glutes and hamstrings. So what you're going to need for this workout is your weighted vest. Right now I am sporting the 8 pound blue weighted vest. You're going to need your scalp bar with a decent amount of weight. I have 15 pounds on each side. Um, you're going to need probably two dumbbells here, uh, one with a moderate amount of weight and one with a heavier amount of weight. You're going to need your balance trainer and the pink thing, okay? So just running through the moves that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing good mornings. So for good mornings, I love the name of this. <laughs> so essentially what it is, it's not a squat, it's not a deadlift, it's a hip hinge. So you're just going to be going down until you feel the stretch here in your hamstring. Keep a, a very um, uh, neutral spine. So don't keep, don't crank your neck forward. Keep looking about a meter ahead of you, and then bring it up. And make sure you squeeze the glute on the way up. So we're going to start with that. After that, we're going to be moving over to the balance trainer to be working on our glutes. So every single glute day, I always do some sort of hip thrusts. So today, for today's hip thrust, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be putting our heel on the balance trainer, but keep the dumbbell on your hips for added weight, and we're just gonna be bringing it up like that. If that's too uncomfortable, you can take the weighted vest off for this one exercise, okay? For the third exercise, we're gonna be doing single leg deadlifts. Um, I call this version the teeter-totter version because as you go down, your, uh, one of your legs are going to be going up, like that. So it is a, a challenge for your balance, but if this is too difficult for beginners, what I want you to do is you're still going to be working, uh, the front leg is going to be more in front of you, the back leg is just for balance back here, and you're going to be doing a deadlift like this. Now, if you're finding all of this too easy, what I'd like you to do is you're going to split the number of repetitions in half because you're going to be doing two different exercises. You're going to be doing the deadlift teeter-totter straight into a pistol squat, okay? So that's a little bonus there for you. And for the fourth exercise, what we're going to be doing is you need to uh, attach the pink thing onto a dumbbell. I just attached it behind the, uh, the securement device here. So what you're going to be doing is you want to put this in your, elbow, your uh, knee crease, your knee bend here. You're going to be on your hands and knees. Put these, your thumbs, in the pink thing. And you're going to be doing booty pulse ups. Like that. Okay? So with that said, let's get started. So move on over to the scalp bar. We're going to be doing 12 reps of the good mornings. So let's bring it up for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's halfway. Seven, go until you feel that stretch. Eight, nine, ten, two more. Eleven, and twelve. Good. You can put that down. Moving on to exercise number two. I'm going to be taking this off for this exercise because it is a little uncomfortable um, between my shoulder blades. Okay, so grab your dumbbell, place it over your hip. One heel on the balance trainer. Bring your hips pretty close, your bum pretty close to the balance trainer. And we're gonna be bringing it up. One, two, three. Make sure you're not lifting the dumbbell. Your hip should be lifting it. You're just balancing it on your hip bones. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good. Other side, switch your heel for twelve. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, make sure your hips are up nice and high, 10, 11, and 12. Good, moving on to the third exercise. Put your weighted vest back on. I'm already starting to feel it in my hamstrings and my glutes. Okay, so single leg, single leg deadlifts with a teeter-totter uh, fashion. So we're gonna be doing six each side. Actually, sorry, we're gonna be doing 12 each side. If you're doing the advanced with the pistol squats, it's only six each side. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Test your balance here. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. Good, other side. Your front leg, your leg that you're, um, is that is straight, it should be pretty straight with a slight bend in your knee just so that you don't injure your knee. Okay, other side. And I find what helps me balance is staring at one spot on the ground. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. 11 and 12. Good, that one's challenging. Very challenging for your balance. Fourth exercise. Bring it on over to your other dumbbell that's already set up with your pink thing. So put that right in your knee, your knee bend. Take this, give yourself some resistance, and let's go for 12 each side. One. Two, kick it up. Three, four, five, six. Try to keep your hips square to the ground. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I definitely feel that in my butt. <laughs> Not as much in your hamstrings, but that's definitely. A booty exercise. All right, other leg. All right, get it set up. And we're going for 12. One, two, three, four, five. And sometimes that'll happen, so just fix your resistance band right away. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good, that was our first round. Only three more. <laughs> so get some water, take a few deep breaths, and then we'll keep going. And so the sweating begins. Oh my gosh. How you feeling? I feel good. Working out glutes and hamstrings is probably my favorite exercise. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this workout. Uh, the good mornings, that's a new exercise for me. And when I first tried it out, the day after I first 
did the exercise, my legs were so sore. My hamstrings were killing. So as much as I like to do the same exercises over and over to work on progressive overload, I do like to tweak my exercises a bit and add new things. Whew. Okay, get in position with your sculpt bar. Let's go guys. All right, for 12. One, two, three. Don't forget, it's a hip hinge, not a squat, not a deadlift. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Put that down and take your weighted vest off. Okay, head on over to your balance trainer. If you're finding it, this workout too difficult with running shoes on, I know I have classic running shoes, not training shoes. Probably not the best choice, uh, but if you have a flat sole shoe, that's gonna be the best to, um, especially for the, the balance exercise. Uh, it's quite difficult. So if you have something with a flat heel, it's easier for your balance. So if you're at home, you can just take your shoes right off. That might be easier to balance. So we're gonna go right in here for 12. One, two, get your hips up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, 10, 11, and 12. Good, switch legs. Bring your bum really close to the balance trainer. Okay, other side. One, two, three. And it's hard to gauge, but technically your knee bend should be at about a 90 degree angle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. 11 and 12. I can feel myself slipping away from it. <laughs> okay. Get your vest back on. All right. Okay. Let's go right into the single leg deadlifts, leg it to your totter. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Other side. One, two. Ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good, you can put that aside. Now we're going into booty pulse ups. Okay, so make sure your resistance band is snug 
so it's not gonna smack you in the face. <laughs> so you're gonna put that right in your knee bend here. Okay, for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Whew, this is where it's getting challenging. Alright. Other leg. For 12. One, two, three. Keep going, guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Eleven. And 12. Good. Whew, I'm sweating. Good, so that was our second round. We are halfway through. And since we're halfway, I would love to just chat with you guys a little bit. This is a chance for me to get to know you guys a little bit more and for you to get to know me. So, one question I get asked a lot as a nurse who works shift work in 12 hours is how do I find time for the gym? Um, first thing, first and foremost, I make time. Um, but the way I make time is, for one, I meal prep. So I find that very beneficial when you're on a 12-hour shift. So when I do my groceries, I buy in bulk. I spend a day cooking for that, so that I'll make enough meals that'll last me about three to four days. I'll portion everything in containers, and then whenever I'm hungry, um, it's already ready for me. I just have to zap it in the microwave and I'm good. I don't have to uh, give into cravings or fast food because I already have fresh, healthy food in my fridge. And I can also take it to work. It's very easy. So I like to do meal prep. The other way I make time is by making it a habit. I actually, what my husband and I do is that we spend a lot of our couple time in the gym. So that to us is like getting to spend quality time. We lift weights together. We work out together. He watches my form. I, I spot him sometimes. He's a six foot four guy, so it's just kind of funny to see. Um, but yeah, it, that's time that we get to spend time together. So that's another way that we make time for the gym and for our health. Okay, so we're gonna move back into it. Third round. We're gonna start with the good mornings. Okay, 12 sets. Let's go. And again, if you want to take your shoes off to have better balance, do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Okay, next exercise, take your best off. Right. Bring your bum right up to the balance trainer. Heel at the top. Make sure you get that nice 90 degree angle in the knee bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, other side. One, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and last one. Good. Okay. Now you can put your vest back on. And we're going right into single leg deadlifts. snap on me this time. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I'm starting to feel sore. <laughs> okay, other leg. All right. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, nice. eleven, I know, twelve. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. All right, that was the third round, and as you see, I'm dripping sweat. Whew. Grab your water, and then we have one more. Do you have any body goals this year? Like um, anything that you're looking to do? Any body goals? Well, yeah. I don't compete. Um, bodybuilding is something I really admire, but I don't compete because I find it's too stressful on the body. Um, people who compete, if you're just doing bikini bodybuilding, um, they use a lot of Lasix and just really unhealthy fat burners that are illegal and it's not necessarily the best kind of environment especially for someone like myself who wants to have kids soon. Um, and if you're doing anything, anything more, any of the more muscular divisions, then they are literally all on steroids, even in the natural competitions. So I don't really want to dip into that. <laughs> so right now, I'm, my goal for my body this year is just to stay really healthy, have a balanced lifestyle. Um, and, and that's it. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. My goal isn't to lose weight. It's not to... Um, gain weight at this point, but I'm just going to try to maintain and just really enjoy myself. Okay, last round, guys. Okay. Last round. <laughs> okay. For 12. One, two, 
three. Make sure you're getting a nice good stretch. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last one. All right. Whew. Take your vest off. And move on over to the balance trainer with your dumbbell. Good. Bring it closer. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Whew. There's going to be sweat all over this floor. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <Fred. laughs> okay. Get your vest back on. Okay. All right. Single leg deadlifts. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, two more. Woo. Eleven. Twelve. You might even be feeling that in your lower back too. Last exercise. <laughs> One, two, bring it up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. It was really hot and there it was like 40 degrees, so I had an excuse why I was sweating so much. This beer 20, I'm in AC, so. <laughs> okay, for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, two more guys, 11, 
and 12. <sighs> Guys, you're done. So thank you for joining me back on season two. It's been fun. I need a towel. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Cool. I just have a follow-up question. Huh? Um, you know when you're losing your balance? Yeah. It, uh, is that something that you, like, do you, you don't get discouraged by that, do you? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm doing everything in one take, so I really don't want to do that again. Um, it's just being realistic. Of course, I'm going to lose my balance, but if you don't practice, you're never going to get perfect. So um, I never even expect to get perfect, but yeah, you just, I'm just going to keep practicing. I really don't mind losing my balance. I do it all the time in the gym, and I do not care. So I'm trying. If, if you never tried something new, then you're never going to get better at anything. So I'd rather be have a little embarrassing moments than be stagnant in my fitness. So. Yeah. <laughs>